Hallelujah. A louder hallelujah. Is there anyone expecting God in a very special way here this morning? Can I hear a thunderous hallelujah? Say this one with great expectation in your spirit. You know what? Uh, my understanding of the scripture, it is your move that will move God. Say this one louder than anyone around you. Say, oh God, arise. oh, God, arise. You can say it louder than that. Oh, God, and visit me this morning. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus' name we pray. With Jesus' joy in my heart, I welcome heartily to the pulpit our Father and the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah! Shout it loud, hallelujah! Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Shout hallelujah. <laughs> Happy New Year to you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I was just passing by. I decided to say hello. Shout hallelujah. Been greetings to my wonderful wife to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Who did not know I was coming here? <laughs> Only got to know a few hours ago. <laughs> God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, congratulations to your pastor, <laughs> the principal regional overseer now. Glory be to the name of the Lord. So happy to see many of you here that I've not seen for a long time. Pastor Janet, all of them. Pastor Moses, not seen them for a long time. Thank God for everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. hallelujah. A louder hallelujah. hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and it's wonderful to hear your choir sounding a uh, Better. Uh, I require you to hear here. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna.
I want to speak to you for a few minutes. The ten prayers have an agenda to fulfill. And I'm sure that if God has brought you to this service, you must benefit from those ten prayers. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Bible says, let the world keep silent before him. Can you say this loud and clear? Oh, God of great wonders. Visit me. visit me. Can you say that again? Oh, God, visit me. Can you raise your voice a little bit? Oh, God, visit me. Can you shout it in faith? Oh, God, visit me. So I have a very strong prayer for everyone gathered there this morning. And that prayer is that the God of great wonders shall visit you in the name of Jesus. A visitation by the God of wonders will change your life. A visitation by that God of wonders will move you forward. A visitation by the God of wonders will put all your enemies into reverse gear. So the prayer this morning that I pray for you is that the God of great wonders must visit you in the name of Jesus. That visitation too will make you to recover every Every good thing that you have lost. Um, it will make you a mysterious wonder. Amen. A divine phenomenon. Amen. A divine spectacle. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. Exodus 15, 11. From Exodus 15, 11, we have one of our most powerful praise worship song. Very, very powerful song to do. Exodus 15, 11. You find Exodus in the Old Testament. Or at the back of Revelation. 
Exodus 15, 11. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Can all of us read that verse together, verse 11? Let's go. Can you read it again? He is like unto thee. Oh, who is like to thee? Oh, Lord. share the testimony. I said, hold on. Go. Don't, don't share the testimony yet. I want to see the report of the doctor before you share this testimony. She had a womb removed many years back. All of a sudden, she started feeling sickly. She went to the doctor. The doctor said, you are pregnant. The woman said, it's not possible. <laughs> it's not possible. The womb had been taken out. The doctor said, but you are pregnant. She had a baby boy last week. <laughs> so don't share any testimony. Go and bring the report of the doctors. They took it out and she brought the report. But we've seen similar cases before performed by the God of Wonders. That one was when the mantle of fire started many years back. I'm talk we're talking about God of Great Wonders today. When Mantle of Fire started many, many years back, this lady who was a prostitute was coming to church, uh, and she didn't tell anybody her story. Uh, one that she had cancer of the uterus, the womb, before. And the doctor took that womb out to save her life. So she decided, I'm just going to serve God. I don't want marriage. So she was coming to Mantle of Fire at that time at a place called Oyabaro. And all of a sudden, one brother went to her one morning and said, Excuse me, God said you're my wife. So she laughed. <laughs> she said, Well, I'm praying very well. We go. Brother went away two months' time. He came back and said, God still said <laughs> you're my wife. God cannot say, yeah, I'm your wife. The brother said, God did not tell me whether there is a woman or not. God said, you are my wife. And so they came. They got married. It was a pregnancy that converted the soldier. The soldier used to be an atheist. He didn't believe in God at all. But he said, what? So I took out the womb. I did Glorious in holiness and fair. Always. Sing it again.
great wonders. My life is available. Visit me by fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and say, Visit me by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Sit down, please. I'm trying to explain to you what we mean by great wonders. We had a woman, three children, husband left. Hunger came in. No work. No money. And no, children don't care whether husband has left or not when they are hungry. So we are the one they can find. So the mother has to keep saying, don't worry, don't worry. But say, mommy, we're hungry, we're hungry. Somebody gave her a copy of the prayer room. She looked at the book and started dry fast. Three days. Started fasting and praying. Day one, day two, day three, Lord, I can't continue like this. You must demonstrate your power. Oh God, arise and advertise your power in my life. She found that prayer, prayer in the book, arise, advertise your power in my life. She didn't know the prayer she was praying. Third day, nothing was happening. Then she heard the voice of the Lord. She said, Daughter, you see that supermarket across the road? Go there. Yeah, at least you will be fed if you go there. So she went. No money. Nothing. To the supermarket. And when she got there, the Holy Spirit said, daughter, take a trolley. So <laughs> she took a trolley. Daughter, fill the trolley. So she filled Daughter, take a second trolley. So she took a second trolley. So fill the trolley. Fill the trolley. Fill me. Daughter, take a third trolley. And so she became a film show at the supermarket. Daughter, take the fifth trolley. Take the sixth trolley. Take the seventh trolley. So she had seven trolleys filled with food and all kinds of things. What she needed, what she did not need. She was filling the trolley. So, 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 Lord, you asked me to fill the trolley. To fill it. So, what is next? So I said, okay, um, go to uh, carousel number seven. Just go there. Uh, as she was going there, the man there said, excuse me, uh, go to the go to number three, I'm going to the toilet. So she started going to number three. She said, I did not ask you to go to number three, number seven. So but she's like, I said, wait, wait, wait. After a while, this 15 minutes or so, this man came back and started to scan the items. As they were scanning, her legs were shaking. Her legs were shaking. How much are you going to pay for this? Scanning, scanning, scanning. Scan the first uh, trolley, scan the second trolley. All of a sudden, there was an announcement in the microphone. And ladies and gentlemen, we are happy to announce to you that today is the 40th year anniversary of this supermarket. And the management, they have decided that what, whichever customer is available at Carousel 7 at 3 p.m., everything the customer buys is free. That is what we call God of great wonders. In Psalm 136, verse 4. 136, 4. To him who alone doeth great wonders. 
for his mercy endure forever. So he is the one who does great wonders. Not only, not ordinary wonder, great wonders. What is a wonder? A wonder is an event that cannot be explained by the laws of nature. It's not something your doctor can explain. It's not something any consultant can explain. It cannot be explained by the laws of nature. A wonder is something that causes the beholder to marvel. To look at it in wonder. What's going on here? A wonder is God's special act that leaves man surprised, shocked, and amazement, astonishment, wonder. Something that causes you to wonder. So God is a God who doeth wonders. God is a God who doeth great wonders. And God can also multiply signs and wonders. In Exodus chapter 7 verse 3. Exodus 7 3. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land. The Bible says God can do things that is great and past finding out. God can do great signs and mighty wonders. Daniel chapter 4 verse 3. God can smite with wonders. Exodus 3.20. And most of you know the story of by Jesus, the man that confronted Paul, and Paul said, be blind. His name is called Wonderful. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Wonderful. Counselor. Almighty God, the everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Now in Isaiah 8, 18, it said that you and your children can be for signs and wonders. That's what the Bible says. But the key point is that you can pray for signs and wonders to manifest in your life. Some people did in the Bible. Let's look at that example. In Acts chapter 4, from verse 29. Acts 4, 29. Acts 4, 29. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that they may speak, that with all boldness they may speak thy word, by stretching forth thy hands to him, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. The apostles prayed for signs and wonders. So I've come to let you know that that God of signs and wonders is still alive. Yeah. There is a report of man. There is a report of the lawyer. There is a report from the doctor. There is a report from the consultant. There is also a report from the Lord. Because his voice has overruling power. Can you raise your right hand again? Say, Oh God of great wonders, visit my life by fire. Open your mouth and say it again. Say,
somebody is breaking through with these prayers don't joke with the prayers in Jesus name we pray let's look at the record of God's wonders a little bit in scripture before we start praying now those 10 prayers God sent rain from heaven before when there was never rain God sent fire from heaven before when it has never happened before God sent wild wind on the earth before when there was never wild wind God sent manna from heaven when such a thing had never happened before heaven, heaven's becoming a caterer to supply food to those on earth God brought water out of rock from wood God made snakes converted the rod of Moses to snakes converted the snakes back to wood from darkness God brought light so in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth the earth was without form the darkness was upon the face of the earth and God said let there be light and there was light from dust God made man and scientists will tell you that all the elements that are in man's body they are easily found in the dust God buried Korah, Dathan, and Abiram alive. God poured fire on the altar of Elijah. Never happened before. A man brought fire from a place. A few minutes later, he brought water from the same source. It's never happened before. God withered the hand of Jeroboam. Jeroboam pointed to the prophets, arrest him. And the hand just stood like that, withered. God did it. God turned Nebuchadnezzar to an animal. Eventually, he even turned him to a lunatic. The king ran mad in the palace. God sank the wall of Jericho. Then God flew Elijah out of this world by chariot of heaven. Chariot of heaven, aircraft. God took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego away from the fire. The fire could not burn them. But the fire burnt those who took them there. And they came walking out of uh, the fire. God replaced organs in the body. God programmed the tongue of the dead. God readjusted the legs of the cripple. God sent dreams to Joseph. Dreams that changed the story of Joseph. God sent that dream to Joseph. Dreaming the dreams of Joseph. God put his spirit upon Noah for Noah to know that there was going to be a flood. And for 120 years, he kept telling them, there will be rain, there will be rain, there will be rain. They did not believe. God in the wilderness provided light without electricity. It's a pillar of light by night that guides the Israelites in their journey. It was God that touched Sarah, Elizabeth, and Hannah, those two women, and gave them special children. God gave utterance to believers who speak in tongues. God scattered the tongues at the Tower of Babel. And since that time, all kinds of languages are in the world. God opened a prison door for Peter. God brought earthquake to the prison of Paul and Silas. And everybody there got delivered. So there is therefore no power of personality or spirit or demon that can compete or equal to the power of God. So what am I saying there? I'm saying your problem is not your problem. Your problem is lack of knowledge 
about the power, the limitless capability of God and the ability of God to turn things around and the ability of God to change the tables at any time. That is the problem. The problem is that you don't know that to serve a God who doeth great wonders. When he opens a door, no one can shut the door. If he has not opened the door, it's another thing. But once he gets it open, no man shuts the door that the Almighty has opened, that the God of great wonders has opened. When the God of great wonders shuts the door, no man can open it. You will try to open it to slam on your face. There is no problem too hard for that God of great wonders to resolve. The God of great wonders is a God that multiplies testimonies, that allows one testimony to give birth to another testimony. We had a lady at the headquarters, a Muslim, the only Muslim in the family. They wanted her to stop going to church. She refused. So they held a family meeting and excommunicated that from the family. So you no longer belong to this family. All of us from the beginning will be Muslims. How can only you be Christians? So they they excommunicated that from the family. So she didn't know much about what went on in the family. Until one day she was in Europe and she learned that a member of the family was trying to have a baby. She assumed that she had had the baby. So she bought baby's clothes and things and took it to the hospital. They were not expecting that, but she took them there. When she got to the reception, I said, I brought baby clothes for so-so and so, so-so and so. The, the way they were looking at her, she felt funny. I said, okay, you see the consultant. So she went. I said, you brought clothes for baby, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, um, baby's okay, but we tried to save mother and baby. Then we did not succeed, so we were only able to save the baby. Mother is dead. I said, dead? When? Said, not too long before you came now. I said, can I see the corpse? I said, yes, why not? So they took her to where they did not move that to the morgue. She was sitting there. So she took the, what did you used to cover her face? She took it away. Put her hand in her handbag. Brought out the anointing oil that we prayed on, on 777. There is a program called 777 many years ago. Opened the mouth of this woman, put the oil on it. All of a sudden, there was a cough. All of a sudden, the woman opened her eyes and said, Shadi, what are you doing here? I said, then what am I doing on this bed? And they said, yeah, you were dead. Meanwhile, the doctors were stupefied. So what, so what what did you do just now? What is in that oil? <laughs> What's in that oil? This is black magic. They said, bring the bottle. The, she didn't want to hand it over, but they struggle and they gave it to them. <laughs> they took the bottle of oil from her. But the bottle thing is that the woman came back to that. So when members of the family who had previously excommunicated her <laughs> had what happened, that's what converted all of them. Your testimony will give birth to other testimonies. The hand of God will arise for your sake. The power of God will move for your sake. In your case, there will be divine intervention. That divine intervention is coming your way today. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will dry up every source of every tear. In the name of Jesus, say, Oh God of great wonders, visit my life by fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. Somebody is still breaking through on this prayer. (laughs) 
visit my life by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Have your seat. Let's continue a little bit further. This God I'm talking about has no respect for your age when he wants to make you great. No respect for your age. This God is at his best when men are at their worst. This God can suspend all physical laws to give you a miracle. And at his voice, all opposition scatter. And when that God comes to your battlefront, that is the end of the battle. Once he appears at that battlefront, that is the end of the battle. Years back, some criminals, they wrote a letter to a member of our church and said, Madam, why is it that your nursery school is doing better than all nursery schools you met in this town? We order you to close it down. If not, we are coming for you. And then they wrote the letter with blood. They wrote the letter with blood. So this woman blood is bloody letter to me. So see, Gio, they wrote in blood. <laughs> what am I going to do now? I said they've made a mistake by writing to you. Give me the letter. So I took the letter to the pulpit like this. I said, do you see this letter? Written in blood. Everybody starts praying back to the center. So we prayed. You know, they came to they came to a house to kill her. Fourteen of them. Armed. They came to the house. They came in the night. But then they made a holy mistake. They were jumping from the wall. Not knowing that a swimming pool was by the wall. So as they jumped, they were jumping inside the swimming pool. <laughs> But there was a particular fat man among them who could not swim. So got into the swimming pool, the deep end, and could not come out. They struggled to, they forgot about robbery they, they, or, or killing. They struggled to grab this man out of the water they, because it was huge, it was big. They struggled and it was getting daylight. So they abandoned him there and ran away. By the time police came in the morning, but simply by looking at the fat man, the police knew where the battle was coming from. God, when he takes over your battle, your battle is over. Yeah. When he appears at your battle front, that battle is over. Yeah. And there is no enemy too hard for God to dismantle for you. Yeah. So God performs wonders. He doeth wonders. He can turn you to wonder. Yeah. And is a story changer. Yeah. Raise up your right hand again and say, Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. And do your wonders in my life. Can you shout it loud? Oh Open your mouth and begin to pray. Continue, continue saying that. Continue saying it.
Thank you, Jesus. name we pray. So are you here this morning and people are laughing at you? Sit down. People have been laughing at you. Are you here this morning and you know you are operating below your optimal standard? Are you here this morning and it's like you are lost and everywhere there is blockage? Are you here this morning that are actually powers boosting against you? And this is how far you can go. You cannot go further. Are you here this morning and you can feel that the enemy is struggling to put a full stop to every step you're trying to make? When you make this step, they stop it. Make that step, they stop it. Are you here this morning that you need to connect with the God of great wonders? The one who does wondrous and glorious things. Are you here this morning you are held in this permanent chain of fear? You're always afraid. You're scared. Your dream life is becoming a battlefront and you are lost totally in your heart. Then, there is hope this morning yeah. to connect to that God of great wonders. Yeah. If I keep telling you the testimonies and wonders that I've seen, you probably get to a level you won't believe what I've seen anymore. Because you say, this is strange. Very, very strange. But that is what God does. That's what you call wonders. That's what you call great wonders. Say it again, O oh God of great wonders. Oh God, great wonders. Visit, me Visit me today by fire. In the name of Jesus. Visit me today by fire. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sit down, beloved. So the first thing I'd like you to do this morning, if you are here, you are not born again, so surrender your life to Jesus. Become a friend of God. That's the first thing. Number two, you want God of great wonders to manifest, repent from any sin you know may be injure you. Because uh, anybody who is knowingly habitually committing sin, you are actually fighting against God. Number three is to have solid faith in the power of the God of great wonders. Number four is to pray the prayers the apostles prayed. The fact that the apostles prayed those prayers means that it's completely possible. The apostles prayed the prayers. That's what we call great wonders. The prayer of great wonders. And when you when you pray that kind of prayer, just God just comes to your situation and you will know yourself that it is not by your power or by your might, but by the power of God that is working for you. And that power will work for somebody here this morning in the name of Jesus. Let that amen roar like thunder. It was many years back. Many of you may find it difficult to believe this. They lodged a woman to us in church who was pregnant for three years. It will be strange to you here. But it's not strange where we come from. And <laughs> sometimes when foreign evangelists visit us, I say, oh, this woman has been pregnant for three years. I say, it's not possible. I say, it's possible. It's possible. And don't think Africa is the head of witchcraft. No. There is more witchcraft in America. Yes. In fact, somebody has said that is the third fastest growing religion in America. Witchcraft. So don't deceive yourself to think, oh, there's no powers of darkness. No, there is. At least the last time I came to Brooklyn like this, I remember a woman came to me and said she slept in the night and saw her husband being lifted up the bed. I said, Dali, where are you flying to? 
Yeah. Yeah. So, so <laughs> Shout hallelujah. So I started praying for this woman and she fell into labor. Right there in church. Fell into labor and I said, please take her to the hospital. Take her to the hospital. Take her to the hospital. They took her to the hospital. The first thing she delivered was a polythene bag before the baby followed. Now you find that strange. But it's not strange. The enemy is a wicked enemy. That's why I preach about wicked prayers against wicked enemies. Strange prayers against strange enemies. That's why we pray that kind of prayer. I was so excited the last time we went for a crusade in Canada. I saw the boy. The boy that was delivered those days after the political bag. I saw him in Canada. I, I said, glory be to the name of the Lord. So that God of great wonders shall visit you today in the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet now. We are preparing to go into these ten prayers. Ten prayers that will connect you to the God of great wonders. All eyes closed. But before we start the prayers, I want to give you an opportunity. In case you are here this morning, you are not born again. I want to say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I like to connect to the God of great wonders. Just raise up your right hand where you are so that I can pray with you. You've not done so before. You want to do so today. Just raise up that right hand so that I can pray with you. God bless you as you do so. Don't be shy. That's why Jesus brought you here. So raise up your right hand. Just quietly, just find a way to me at the altar here so I can pray with you. Just leave that seat and come here so I can pray with you. The rest of us, while we bow down our heads, tell the Lord to forgive you of any sin, any sin at all that will hinder the God of great wonders from visiting you today. I am dying, oh Lord. I have heard the voice and it told of thy love to Surrendering our life to you today. Keep us standing by your power. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So let's follow the pastor for one minute or so, and they will follow. Oh, you are here too. God bless you, Jesus. Did. Just follow this pastor. God bless you. Yes. Come, follow. God bless you, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All eyes closed. These prayers are not ordinary prayers. It's prayers that have helped so many people to overcome so many challenges. The words may sound strange, but pray the prayers from your heart. As we pray this first prayer that I want you to pray now, if you are in this service now, and the enemy has been threatening you with the spirit of death. Something has been telling you, you will die. You've been having strange dreams about death. Please find a way to this altar and be on your knees as you pray this first prayer. And pray the way you have never prayed before. If you are going to pray on the altar here. Know that God is there. 
and his power is the absolute power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, powers assigned to put me to shame. Can you say it loud and clear? Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray it. This is why Jesus brought you here. Yes, yes, yes. The power of God. In the name of Jesus. Move, 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 move. Aha, aha. Yes. Enough is enough. Today is today. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha. That's a fire, 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 that's a fire. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Collective affliction. Collective embargoes. Collective embargoes. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I refuse to share the affliction of the embargo. Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus. Move, 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 move. Aha, 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 aha. Something is happening over there. Bapata satala kaya boshende rabasanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at this altar begin to shake your head vigorously. Shake it vigorously. Shake off all the plantation of darkness that has been working against your destiny. Just something is happening to you over there. Shake it off. Shake it off. That's the power of God coming upon you. Aha. Aha. Yes, shake it vigorously. It must go. Every arrow of the spirit of death. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. You cannot hide. You cannot hide. Let her go. 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 The plantation in the womb, the plantation in the head. Be removed. Be removed. Be removed. Be removed. Yes. Be removed. Be removed. Be removed. Be removed. Yes, yes. Can you shout this loud? Arrows in my life. Hear the word of the Lord. Come out now. In the name of Jesus. It must come out. It must come out. He's coming out, he's coming out, he's coming out. That's why you are here. Come out now, come out now in the name of Jesus. Yes, come out now. In the name of Jesus. Masikatele yaboshende rabosanda. Mapoli katanda rabosotonda yaboshanda. Ribosopoli katenda. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. There are seven persons here. There are things the enemy has planted in the body to frustrate 
to punish, to afflict. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. And the yoke acquired from witchcraft attacks is broken in the name of Jesus. It's broken, 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 broken. in the name of Jesus. As the first person, as the second person, as the third person. That's number four, that's number five, that's number six, that's number seven. That's the power of God coming upon you. Yes. Father, I thank you for your children at the altar here. Continue to lay your hands upon them. All the warfare that has been shifted away remains permanently shifted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. 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 As we go to the next level of prayers, if you are here and you have been noticing blockages, 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 you don't know why the enemy blocks your way. Just find a way to the altar too and be on your knees. Pray like a man or woman from another world. Don't negotiate. This is not a day to negotiate. This is a day to fight. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers! Saying that I shall not go far. Somebody is broken free. Can you shout that? There is somebody that still needs to shout it loud. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Be released, 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 be released. Aha, 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 aha. Yes, the power of God, yes, the power of God. My party, the cassette, Riboko Soponde Kayaba. Yes, sir. Every arrow from the water, sir. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Something is happening. Something is happening. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at the altar, shake your head to shake it vigorously. Certain things have to depart from that destiny. Your head is the symbol of your destiny. Shake it vigorously. Shake it off. Don't negotiate. That's, that's the power of God. It's flowing from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Let her go. Let her go. Remove your rope from the neck. Remove your rope from the waist. Remove your rope from the legs. Yes. Ma pika tenda le kayabo shendera basanta. Riba soponde kayaba. Every evil hand laid upon the head. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Yes, catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your children here at the altar. Beginning from this service, any blockage crossing your way is dismantled in the name of Jesus. All the powers that want your seat to be vacant, I command them to die in the name of Jesus. All the powers that have been stealing from you, 
Recover what the enemy has stolen. Recover them. 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 Mapoka Sapala. Recover them. Recover them. Recover them. In the name of Jesus. This next prayer will bring breakthrough to 52 persons. Pray it very well. The Bible says, as from the days of John the Baptist, now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Can you shout this loud and clear? Any spiritual rope, Any spiritual rope. Tie, my tie my legs, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, put your mouth up, put your mouth, break the rope, break the rope, break the rope, break the rope. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Silence. That person over there. Power of your father's house that has been harassing you and preventing you from getting to great places. Baposa Likaya, I separate that power from you now. That's the power of God coming upon you. The strange witchcraft projection into your dream that has been stopping your moving forward. I destroy it now in the name of Jesus. Anything the enemy has planted in anybody's life, preventing them from moving forward, I command you to depart. Depart. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. 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 Let your amen be loud. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. 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 Yes, louder, louder. There's the prayer of God coming upon you. Bapata Sata. Riba Koponda Kayabo Shenda. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yes. You are expecting a letter that will move you forward. That letter has been released in the name of Jesus. The conspiracy in your place of work against you is scattered in the name of Jesus. for three persons here. The kind of wealth that you have never experienced. Possess it in the name of Jesus. Possess it. 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 In the name of Jesus. I want to pray three prayers. And each of those prayers, you must shout ten 
volcanic Jericho destroyed. Amen. Yes. The virtue keys that your parents have lost, I command you to recover them in the name of Jesus. Louder, louder. The kind of open heavens that nobody in your lineage has ever had. Receive that open heavens in the name of Jesus. Covenant of you shall not do great things is broken now in the name of Jesus. Louder, 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 louder. Every blockage is removed forever in the name of Jesus. Is happening over there. As a woman here, you have done a strange marriage. Your in laws are against you. Your husband is against you. Everybody seems to be against you. But beginning from this morning, your story has changed in the name of Jesus. of witchcraft against your children. They are scattered. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank God you came here this morning. Thank you, Jesus. 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 As we pray the final set of prayers, I want your aggression to increase. If you pray these prayers and you lose your voice, and you're okay, you've done made a great bargain. As we pray this next bit of prayer, if you are in this meeting at all, things move all over your body. And also, you have strange nightmares. Please find a way to this altar and decide that today is the final day of those kind of oppression. Find a way to the altar and let your voice roar like fire and like thunder as you pray. Can everybody shout this loud and clear? Jesus Christ! Yoke breaker! Break my yoke now in the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through with his prayers. Jesus Christ, yoke breaker. Break my yoke now. Yes. Let the yoke be broken. Let the yoke be broken. Let the yoke be broken. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at this altar begin to shake your head. Shake it vigorously again. These arrows must just go back to the sender, sir. Yes, sir. The projection of the enemy into your dream life is broken. Is broken. Is broken. Is broken. Is broken. Is broken. Yes, you cannot hide. You cannot hide. Yes, every mobile serpent in the body catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus.
everything you have eaten or swallowed that the enemy has been using against you, I command you to go out to the mouth, to the nose, to the mouth, to the nose. That's right. Can you shout this loud? Assigned to empty my life. You are a Lord. God. In the name of Jesus. Something is going on over there. Something is really going on. This is not a money to negotiate. Bocate setende ke ya boshende la bosanda. Naribo sopole ke ya boshente la bokopola bakanta. Ribo po li katende ke ya bo. In Jesus name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards me at the altar here. Father, let your fire fall upon these hands. Let your power of great wonders uh, fall upon this hands in the name of Jesus. Let this hands bury every plantation of darkness. Let this hands bury every plantation of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to count seven from here. You start from your symbol of your destiny, which is your head. You smite it seven times. One. I want you to do it really well. One. Two. See what is happening. See what is happening. The strangers shall fade away. They shall be afraid out of their close places. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. You cannot hide. If you have any sickness in your body, as I count now, smite the place vigorously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aha. The spirit of infirmity. That place is not your candidate. If it's not your habitation, lose your hold now. Father, I'm praying for your children at the altar here. Beginning from today, all the affliction you, you have been seen before you got here, you shall see them no more in the name of Jesus. You shall see them no more. 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 Them no more. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank God you came here this morning. Close your eyes as you sing loud and clear. I plead the blood.
any infirmity in your body, lay your hands upon the place as I pray now. Father, it is written that by your stripes your people are healed. It is written that oppression shall be far away from your people. It is written that every enemy that comes against your children shall flee from before their face. Amen. They come against them in one way, they shall flee in seven ways. I bind and cast out every infirmity in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are, receive your healing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards me again. Father, let your healing anointing fall upon these hands. Let your power fall upon these hands. Let every yoke of the enemy be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any sickness in your body, smile the place shouting, go back to your senders. Go back to your Do it 21 times. Let's go. Do it well. Do it well. Yes. Yes, yes. Amen. I like you to check your body now and put your faith into action. Do what you could not do before. Check your body very well. And if you know that you have been healed, don't let the enemy put a problem back. Just find a way quickly to me at the altar here. Find a way quickly to me at the altar. Check your body very well. Find a way quickly to me at the altar. If you brought a situation here and it's no longer there, check your body, find a way to the altar here very, very quickly. Can you shout this loud and clear? Where is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of Elijah? Can you shout it loud? And let my story change in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We pray. Anti help us yoke. Are these yokes that do not want you to have help us? Can you shout it again? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. your testimonies with the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Affliction will never rise again in your Amen. life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may go back to your seat and share your testimony later. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Three more prayers to pray. Three more prayers to pray. Can you turn to somebody and ask for the name of the person? 
Okay. You will shout his name. You will shout his name. He will shout your name or she will shout your name too. Brother Daniel! Hear the word of the Lord. Arise and shine in the name of Jesus. name we pray. That's good. Now lay your right hand upon your head. Say, whether the enemy likes it or not, I must arise and shine. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Them we pray. Father, I'm praying for your children here this morning. That every tight offering that shall be given here this morning shall be stepping stone to greater things. Amen. Stepping stones to testimonies. Amen. Stepping stones to signs and wonders. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. To you, Father, be the glory. Now raise your two hands to the Lord. My hands. My hands. Hear, the Hear the word of the Lord. Can you address your hand right loud and clear? Hear the word of the Lord. Prosper my father. In the name of Jesus. Prosper by fire, prosper by fire, prosper by fire, prosper by fire, prosper by fire in the name of Jesus, prosper by fire in the name of Jesus, prosper, 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 prosper by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Save it, Lord, amen. Clap of faith unto the Lord. We can do much better. We can do much better. We can do much better. We can 